the sun. Without this immense ball of fire, life on Earth would not be possible. The energy it radiates as light and heat is created through nuclear fusion, the merging of atomic nuclei in a plasma heated to millions of degrees. Scientists are working to replicate this process in order to generate electricity. What happens naturally on the sun under extreme conditions is incredibly complex to achieve on Earth. Around the world, research is underway to ignite the sun's fire in a fusion power plant. The fuel for such a plant is a mixture of two types of hydrogen, deuterium and tritium. The nucleus of deuterium consists of one proton and one neutron. Tritium's nucleus contains one proton and two neutrons. When these two atomic nuclei fuse, they form a helium nucleus and a neutron with very high kinetic energy. The energy of the neutron is converted into heat, which drives a steam turbine to generate electricity. The energy from the helium helps maintain the plasma at the required temperature. To trigger the reaction, the mixture must be heated to over 100 million degrees Celsius, hotter than the sun. But how can such a hot fusion plasma be controlled on Earth? This is the question scientists at the Max Planck Institute for Plasma Physics are tackling. In Garching, near Munich, they operate one of the world's most important large-scale facilities on the path to creating a fusion power plant. Aztex Upgrade. This facility isn't designed to generate electricity. Instead, scientists are researching the fundamental principles for future power plants, which will be much larger than Azdex Upgrade. Inside Azdex Upgrade, the fusion plasma is created in a ring-shaped vacuum vessel. To keep it from touching the walls and cooling down, it's confined by three magnetic fields in an invisible cage. Toroidal magnetic coils shape the plasma into a donut form. Vertical field coils stabilize the plasma's position. A transformer coil in the center of the vacuum vessel twists the magnetic field lines within the plasma. A supporting structure holds the entire 9-meter-high fusion experiment, which weighs 800 tons. Azdex Upgrade is a tokamak-type fusion facility. At first glance, its typical elements are hard to spot, as the facility is surrounded by a range of high-tech instruments. These include sensors that closely monitor the plasma during each experiment and record data. Also visible from the outside are three heating systems that raise the plasma's temperature to over 100 million degrees Celsius. Two of these systems work like microwave ovens. They send electromagnetic waves into the plasma via antennas. The third system, neutral beam injection, shoots accelerated hydrogen atoms into the plasma where they transfer their energy to the plasma particles. During the fusion experiment, the vacuum vessel becomes the hottest place in our solar system. 
the greatest heat load occurs at a component at the bottom, the diverter. A magnetic field directs the outer plasma layer there to remove impurities. The diverter is lined with special heat-resistant tungsten tiles. ASDEX upgrade is equipped with a second diverter at the top of the vacuum vessel, which can change the shape of the plasma using additional magnetic coils. This enables experiments to optimize the plasma's properties. Fusion power plants have the potential to revolutionize the way humanity generates energy. At ASDEX upgrade, scientists are laying the groundwork to make this possible. The facility is essential to the International Fusion Research Program. Its mission, to turn the dream of unlimited clean energy into reality.